So this is the season two finale. I can see that it's the longest episode, which makes sense. It's the finale. Let's just get straight into it. Again, his way of coping. Monica! Oh god. Oh shit. Hey! Yo. Oh god. Jesus. Where is he? It's pretty tight. I don't want to slip and cut his leg off. Well, you could clip his ankle bracelet and his foreskin at the same time. Hey, my friend Sam, uh, got to work. Has to yeah, didn't do that. Spy spot. I bet you'd hook us up with some breast milk. Oh, how about the attic? Like that movie about the Hebrew girl. It's cold in the winter. Oh. Well, the basement. No, it's the first place that looks sweetie. Really... Dryer? Dr Just can't forget he's in there. Right. No. Don't. Don't do this. Yeah. The food is still there, they're just starting to eat. Oh, is he going to go and see where his child is? Well, it's not even his child, is it? Did they just naturally have the doors wide open and stuff like that? What is he thinking? Nice use of distortion there through the window. Gonna be all right. No talking. Let her feel something else. You awake? Yeah. Yeah, she isn't. Yeah. She's gonna cry, isn't she? Yeah. Because you do forget they're extremely young. Yeah, they all need to be together in this moment. Someone needs to go to Ian. Because he's still young as well. Wakey wakey. Hey. They think it was my mom. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. That's not a shock though, is it? It's Sheila. She probably just freaked out like always. Oh, I realized she was outside. I'm gonna get it back. Mm, turkey and eggs. With mashed potato pancakes and cranberry jelly. Hmm. Back to being a legal resident around here, Steve? Jimmy. Jimmy. His name's Jimmy now. Steve was just a, an alias he used to lie to me about who he really was. Ooh, not cool, Jimmy Steve. Ex. <laughs> Changed my name because I was stealing cars. Didn't want anybody able to track me down if things went south. It didn't have anything to do with you. Yeah. <laughs> I want to meet your family. Oh, I don't know, because his mom might make out with him. Problem is, he comes in. Like someone who's an addict and nervous wreck, and it would make me watching them together nervous. I really screwed up Thanksgiving. No, it was no big deal. Oh no, it's a big deal. I must have scared the shit out of them. They're good. We. Uh, you haven't been who? Last night, I tucked them in. They're fine today. You didn't tuck me in. I read books to them, the little ones anyway. <sighs> I gotta get myself in the The fact that she wants to, it's a huge step forward. Do I miss it? Okay. I love you. you it's not about love, Frank. It's, you're too destructive together. It also seems like Frank never wants someone to get better. He wants them to stay how he is. Some of them security prisons after they've mowed down half their classmates. I mean... <laughs> Steve spend the night? You mean yeah. Jimmy? Fuck that, I'm calling him Steve. Mm. Sent him out on a quest. This is why I like Maybe Veronica. Maybe win the heart of the virgin? Yeah. Your Monica tries to hang herself in a closet with an old shoelace. He's a big boy. He can make his Yeah, I, he's still there for you know. Hey, Carl. You sleep okay? What do you think? He's depressed. 
She's not better on her meds. She's a zombie. She gives up everything she loves in life. Yeah, like what? Drugs, alcohol, you. You. Us. Uh. Vicky, around your neck. Okay. And then tape. But you know, Karen's not going to want to see that child. And your nipples. And the baby can still breastfeed. It's okay, okay, Jeremy. I, I can do it. No, it's important for both of us to bond with him. Oh. Uh. Lip here? What? How'd you find me? Jimmy. Just give each other a hug. How's Karen? Girl's a fucking bitch. My cousin Eli was born with a foot coming out of his knee. Now he's a blacksmith. Only one who can pump the bellows without using his hands. Uh, okay. I want your home lip. We all do. At least she said it. Oh, whatever with that one. She's a scotch and my soda. We are Fred and Ginger, John and Yoko, Mickey and Minnie. We're like Siegfried and Roy. Roy. Get off and Ava. <laughs> yeah. I met your mom. She's weird. She's cool. You met his mom? Candace. A little hubby on the Botox and Chanel number five, but nice. <laughs> uh, Morton's downtown. Dad has a wine locker there, a little brass plaque with his name on it and everything. Oh, and Dad. I forgot. Hey, okay, Dad. I forgot that he spoke to her. I think this must be the place. Can I get out? Time here. <laughs> I'm okay, but thanks. The fact that you couldn't even see someone that big. Wait, that's Stiggy. Kermit? Yeah. Frank? Right. What'd you do to your head? Oh, um, my therapy. It calms my nerves. You let him zap your head? Helps with my seizures. Jesus. Try it before you knock it, Frank. Very oh, good. Kermit. Have you seen The fact that she's trying to get better and he just doesn't want her to because he he's selfish. He wants it, her to stay with the family. I told you I don't want out. He's gonna guilt you by having Debs talk to you. Oh. Did you come? Oh, she's back to this. Frank, this is Jill. <laughs> is that thingy Elfman? Oops. Yeah, it is. Jenna Elfman or Jenny Elfman, whatever her name is. Mom. What was the name of that girl that he took to St. Moritz on uh, New Year's? Chrissy, Lizzie, something, I remember with an I.E. I was 17. Took a girlfriend yeah. to Europe in high school? Dad offered a ticket. He drags her all the way Shows to the house. Shows how much money they have. Then leaves her in the hotel room sitting there for some French girl he met on the gondola. That's true. My brother still thinks of me as the runt that didn't punch back. And her youngest's quick and stealthy exit after he weasels her out of another 10 grand. Well, I was hoping to milk her for another 20 this time. Yeah, this older brother. A name like Chip, you think you'd want to defy the stereotype. You are the Oh god, that's the one sleeping with you. Fiona's brothers, Carl and Ian. Uh-huh. Well, nice to meet you, Ian. Have we ordered? Excuse me. Fat Get lonely. Do you love her? I just met her. What are you doing here? We can't <laughs> make is looking at her. I told you I don't want out. So, I'm Baba. What's this grand plan you had for busting us out? It's only two stories down to the roof, outside the ladies' john. Oh, okay. Give me that. Bed. Now. Hey, nobody <clears throat> touched my leftover lobster. I want to put it in my cinnamon toaster waffle in the morning. <laughs> I need to like how much food they took. I'm glad they pulled some back. I was waiting for him to say that. That's what I, you could sense when he was looking at her. Uh. 
She really needs someone right now. What the hell happened? Marco. Wait, Marco did this to you? He hit you? Marco hit you? I don't get how you have a kid and not give a shit what happens to it. Retarded, Some people don't. Two heads, no face, whatever, it's still you. Only gonna be up a couple more minutes. <sighs> I am yeah. not a mind reader. If you do not know an answer, move Good on lip. and come back to This is it, Mom. Last chance. I'm not kidding, I'm gone. She it's wants near the baby. Decide. I think she has. Oh, you don't do this. The baby, sweetheart. Chance at life. I'm now curious if Sheila's going to be in the show anymore. Harry. It's a really strong moment. This this episode I've really enjoyed. That and Carl's Morton leftovers are going to tide us over for the next two weeks. Listen, I kind of need to talk to you about something. Ah, means that me don't say when I keep. Oh. Don't worry about her. She didn't speak any English. She's living here now? She don't. Lord, I hope not. You know Jimmy's dad, Lloyd? I, uh, think we caught up. Here we go. Hey! 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 Notice how Debbie's always the one that stays behind. Good on you, Deb. Yeah, this is that moment where let him be outside for now. Luke is back. I just don't know what's going to I'm really happy Lip went back to school and did the exam. Oh, it's Frank's gonna wake up outside. Is that how much snow went or <laughs> fell already? <laughs> a really good season finale. A lot, a lot went on in that episode. Uh, a lot of hookups, a lot of getting back together. It's, you never know where people are gonna go. People do rebound off one another very quickly. I'm very happy Lip is back and then he went back to school. Uh, he's trying to get his life back on track after him trying to do other things and it being derailed. Fiona passed in her GD, so that was really nice to see and happy that she did pass. And hopefully we'll see a bit more for them in, in terms of where they're going for work. It looks like Ian and Jimmy's dad are going to be falling about more. We didn't get a conclusion to that story and I don't think it's going to happen yet. So I wonder, will he get addicted to drugs or the high life with the dad? We'll see. The dad clearly has no remorse and has been doing this for years, but I I get the feeling maybe the mom knows. Uh, it was just they're the ending. So I, is Jimmy's wife going to be in the new season? Um, maybe she's with Lip. I don't know. It, 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 sometimes they introduce these characters. I didn't expect her to be there. I I thought she was gone, and then her story was just like okay, he so much. I'm hoping Karen is going to be in season three or comes back at some point. Because I feel like there's a lot more they can do with her character. And it, it was hard to watch her walk away. But I really do hope she comes back. I really feel like there's so much you could do with her. Monica, I think, will be back. There's just no way she won't be. But I wasn't shocked that she just abandoned them. It made sense. It feels like maybe she genuinely is better off without them. But I think they're better off without her. At least the kids are. And it does feel like... Maybe she, I don't know. And it's another woman that she's run off with. So I, I don't know. She should be on her meds, but I, I, it wouldn't last long with the other character because it's too volatile. But yeah, the, the dinner with the douchebag older brother and the family and the high life and just kind of representation of that. 
I don't know, it was really well done. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of moments where I was like, okay, where is this going to go? I'm really looking forward to season three. I think season two was a very, very strong season uh, and just set this a stage for what's to come. I don't know who's going to be in the show in terms of the, like Sheila and Karen and all of that. Uh, I hope, but I don't expect them really to be much because I feel like their storyline was kind of told. But we'll see where everyone goes. I feel like it's going to be Ian's, Ian's spiral next season. Thank you for watching.